As a beginner writing classes in Python, you're probably going to come up against this exact problem. So suppose we have a really simple class, we then define an instance of our class, we then come down below, and we then try and print off the instance, and let's see what happens. And it gives us this rather obscure printout here, basically telling us the module, the class, and some memory address as to where the object lives. But how do we get something actually useful from our print statements? What we need to do is define an str method, just like this here, and then whatever this returns, this is actually what print is going to be using when we try to print our instance. Currently, we're using the one that we inherit from the base objects class, which is not super helpful. So if we say something like return, let's then do an f string. And in here, we'll keep it simple and just say person, do a little space here, and then do self.name like this. And then we hit run again. We now see person John arriving here. We could also then go ahead and title case our output. And now it looks even better. So the job of str is to be called by print. And of course, if we remove it, it's now going to revert back to the one from the base object class. However, putting this in your classes means you get total control as to what happens whenever you print your own custom classes. 